Uh, it's a Friday, 8 a.m. UTC time, and we are live with a leadership call. And today we have a very special guest, uh, Dr. Anna Becker from, from Israel. Uh, but before we go into product updates, I would like to, gi to give you some updates on the technical side. I know we promised actually that this week we go into testing. And I know many, many people, they ask the same question on a daily basis. So when we launch, everybody's asking when we launch. And we uh, really uh, getting very close. Uh, so on development side, we are uh, uh, almost complete, I would say. So this weekend, because we don't have days off, this weekend we go into uh, testing mode. And then it might take maybe one week uh, for the testing. If you don't find out some major issues, so so sometime maybe 10 days from now or more than one week, so we can, we, we can launch, right? If you find some major issues during the testing, so it may take a little bit longer. So we will keep you updated, of course, next week as well uh, on, uh, on the progress uh, from a technical side. And maybe next week we can invite also our technical uh, specialist also on the call to provide some technical updates. Uh, together with that, we are uh, improving some uh, uh, some uh, back office uh, uh, issues. Uh, so we try uh, to fix uh, all the display issues so that uh, you guys see actual accurate information, right? So so that all information is 100% accurate. We are working on this as well, and uh, uh, we are also uh, we also have a lot of news on the product side, and this is why today we got our special guest, Dr. Anna. I know she has a lot of things to share, so today's call might be a little bit longer. Also, we got two amazing leaders that uh, will share uh, some experience uh, with uh, you guys uh, after uh, after Dr. Anna actually talks. So, uh, so first of all, I would like to invite uh, Dr. Anna. Dr. Anna, it's always a pleasure to have you on our calls. I know many, many people, they are looking forward actually to hearing uh, from you on, on, uh, on the product side, uh, also on the development side, right, on AI side, because uh, this is a whole uh, goal of the project, right, is development of AI. Uh, so uh, please take it over and uh, uh, give us some updates. And later, uh, we have a Q&A session, right? So I will, I will ask you a few questions from our leaders, actually, it's not my personal questions. So we just put the questions that most frequently asked questions together. And uh, we will just go one by one after after you finish your screen share. Yeah, uh, uh, I would like to start. Uh, first of all, again, thank you, because uh, uh, this community allowed us to start DAISY project. And on a daily basis, we feel the pleasure of doing this amazing thing of super intelligence for FinTech. And uh, every day we see uh, additional layers that we can kind of contribute both to the fintech, to economy, to to all the elements that we wanted to do. So again, thank you for enabling us to start this project. And uh, uh, white paper side, we done. Uh, we put it into production. So by Monday, we should have it ready and distribute it, and you will be able to see is to read it. Uh, again, welcome all the feedbacks, comments, because uh, we are interested to hear specifically from the uh, uh, from the universities. We get lots of uh, communication with universities on this project. So whatever professional feedback you want to send us, please uh, feel free to communicate with us. Now, I'd like to uh, start with a <clears throat> short sharing of the results. Let me do that. Okay. Can we see it, right? Yes, we can see the screen. Okay. So our testing account uh, on Daisy. Uh, right now, I'm always doing the snapshot uh, half an hour before the meeting. So half an hour before the meeting, we were at 17% uh, profit. Uh, started with 25 million, as you know, crossed 30. Uh, if you uh, were following it during the week, you saw that we even reached 19%. And now we at these levels. Uh, so again, on the smaller uh, contributions, you will see percentages and numbers that a little bit less than 17 in some cases, in some cases more, because you entered and uh, the, the, the conversion side were either profitable or uh, losing for that specific period. So right now we're at 17. I want to show you a few trades that we did. So for example, we have an algorithm called Bitcoin trend short term. 
So this short term tries to reach trends that are uh, 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 not going for the 60% or 70% uh, trend, but going for the smaller trend. So here you see the example of very nice entry at the beginning of the trend, exit at the, the end of the short trend. <clears throat> My apologies. Uh, this is the first example. So as you see, we already exited some of the trades. Then another one was swing uh, 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 midterm. Swing means that when we, you are within uh, uh, the band, you're doing entry and exit. You're not trying to get into the trend itself. You're doing it outside the trend. So here you can see that, again, it's very nice entry and exit for the swing, right? Because after that, you see the clear trend and then trend algorithm get into this story. And of course, we have a midterm trend that started at 33 and it's still in the position. OK, so this is just examples of how things work. Uh, we have total uh, uh, four BTC systems running. And I want to bring it back to the daily story, because uh, as you see, these systems are based on uh, optimization through artificial intelligence, but they're based on technical analysis. As Daisy, we'll have much more feedback to make additional decisions. And you can see at each point, how can you improve it? And, and again, uh, the story comes, comes into place even stronger when things go wrong, because we were fortunate in this uh, uh, latest period to get the perfect entries and exits. It's not always the case. <clears throat> and then uh, we need Daisy to help us understand what is the strength of the market? What is the expected volatility? And whether we should, for example, even today, exit the trend and say market is done for today, or it's still strong enough and it will go forward. Again, we, we have our assumption as artificial intelligence for technical analysis, Daisy will help us to enforce the decision, much more informed decisions. Currently, we have on the outside, uh, uh, we have uh, uh, EOS, uh, XLM, Lincoln, and this is still open trades. This trade's already closed. It, the fact that it's written in red doesn't mean that they were not profitable. They all were profitable trades. And ITER uh, still bears the lot of the value for the uh, portfolio. So this is our story for this week. And uh, uh, I would like to answer the Q&A for as we agree. Uh, you are muted, Ilya. Yeah. Thank you, Dr. Anna. Yes, actually, the questions we put together, maybe we already got some answers during your presentation, maybe due, during your previous presentations, right? But still, I mean, even even if people are here like, for a second time, I think it's, it's quite a good idea. So I will just read the whole list. So give me one sec. And... Uh, we will get started with questions. Okay, so the first question is, uh, some people say that uh, uh, some members actually started two, three days prior to others, but yet have a slightly smaller profits than those who started later on. Uh, yeah, could you please because, uh, clarify on this? Yeah, yeah. because initial conversion was uh, uh, not profitable. So initial conversion might be losing uh, half a percent to 1%. Uh, uh, to these uh, uh, contributors. Uh, so they will experience less results just because of the initial conversion. Okay, so, so this uh, this issue is is uh, is uh, simply related to TRX exchange rate. That's correct. The conversion okay. to the TRX. And again, we are uh, tackling this issue. We'll uh, give an update once it's done. Right, Ilya? Yeah, we, we'll yeah, of course. About of this course. issue, how not to come back to. Of course, of course, yes. The second question is, is a displayed profit on the back office positive equity or actual released profit on closed trades? So this yeah, is- it's an equity. We mm -hmm. are showing uh, 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 open equity. So if uh, uh, it's, it includes both closed position and open position. So it's our decision because uh, uh, we want to have uh, uh, people to see what's going on at the same exact moment with the portfolio. 
and we're updating it every hour. Every 12 hours, we're updating the chart of individual contributors and uh, uh, numbers we're updating again one every, every hour. Okay, okay. So next question is related to the previous one. We have always been told that the strategy is a very low frequency strategy, but yet we see the percentages uh, fluctuate multiple times daily. Uh, so I believe the this is the same yeah. reason, right? Because, because yeah, it's a, you can it's... see I showed you the the trades again. We are in the field with uh, uh, with crypto we're in the field of tactical investments. So as you saw, we have very few trades for each strategy for each asset. So uh, we are not again once we go to additional markets, there we will have different story. But in current market, we are in tactical investments. Okay. Okay. Uh, next question. Do we use a stop loss uh, in our strategies? And if we use a stop loss, at what uh, drawdown? And uh, the last question in this is, uh, do we use a hard stop loss or trailing stop loss? Okay. So this is a, a very important question because uh, in uh, each market, there is a very big decision where to put a stop loss. Intuitively, you can feel that stop loss is important because you don't want to lose during the big uh, market fluctuation. But uh, uh, whether to put it in hard way, meaning that you enter and then you put immediately, let's say, 1% or 2% or 3% stop loss to protect yourself. In markets like crypto, it's not a good idea, specifically with uh, uh, the big volumes, the big portfolio that we use. Uh, uh, tens and, and hundreds of millions in, in the capital, because first of all, the fact that you put the stop loss on the market and people can see it, they can kind of trade on it, they can kind of abuse it, they can kind of uh, 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 make their own wins, but just by seeing that you put this huge stop loss. And even if you make it synthetic, meaning that you don't put it on the on the exchange, but you keep it outside and then you trigger it, it's still not, not the good idea. So what we do instead, we use trailing stops that are soft stops. So it's not a, a, a trailing function, it's trailing function based on AI indicators. And once we see that the market is weak and it wants to go back, we use it. But if it's a sharp, sharp drop, uh, drop down of the market, we will not join this drop. We're not joining the, the drop situations. We're thinking, like our system is thinking what to do with it, and probably will exit after a while, or like we're not joining these situations because in most of the cases it will bounce back and you don't want to be the participants in these situations. So again, since we are in tactical investment, even if market goes down and it's emotional very hard to see the loss, you still need to be calm and wait for the system to exit. So again, soft stop loss, more of the trading nature than anything else. And uh, uh, synthetic, we don't put it on the exchange. Nobody can see it. OK, OK. And uh, can you add something on, on a drawdown uh, issue, like percentage wise? Uh, do, can, we, can, we, can we say that we have some percentage, like minimum percentage, maximum percentage of drawdown? Of the, of the stop loss that we're using? Yeah. Yes. Uh, Listen, it's, again, it's a tricky situation because in each specific system, we make system decides on what is the best. So there is, uh, unfortunately, the situation of a black swan that can happen. Even if you try in different ways to make it optimal, it still can happen. And we experienced this uh, last year in May that in, within the uh, 15 minutes, the market dropped about 15, 20 percent. And unfortunately, there is nothing you can do about this because it didn't bounce back and, and that was the story. But uh, usually what we're trying to do is from original entry, we have it fairly short, like two, three percent from original entry. And then it trails up and it's, it's again, I cannot say in each separate situation where it will be, but it trails up together with time based on the market. So I can uh, maybe next time give you the exact numbers for each, not for each system, but for some of the system for you to fill it. But it's it's quite complicated. It's not the simple answer of the number. Okay, okay, I understand. So maybe we, we will be able to see some examples, right, from your side later on. Uh, uh, on the last call, incredible call, you explained uh, about amazing entry point for BTC 
at uh, 33,000 dollars. So they ask if this trade is still open or closed already. So yeah, we showed that it's still open. Yes, the, yes. The, this one is still open, and we are waiting for uh, the end of the story of the for this trade. And again, uh, uh, what, what, while I really hope for this trade to have amazing exit, it's not that important whether it will be, you know, very successful trade or it will end up in in uh, losing 20, 30 percent of the ideal exit. Again, it's 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 about the the long term. So let's hope for it that it will get the good exit. But again, it's not in our hands. Yeah, sure, sure, absolutely. Uh, the next question is about. Uh, the system that reflects all of open trades. Uh, so they ask if there will be such a system so that they can see what trades are open, okay. right? Yeah. Uh, because initially, before we launched Daisy, right? So we mentioned that we might have such such a system. So do you see the system? Being yeah, I, I uh, wanted to touch on this point and uh, to explain a certain fact is while we're still small as a Daisy and uh, 25 million is definitely a small number. Uh, we can show everything. It's not a big deal to show everything. Once we grow beyond 100 and 200 uh, millions, it's very dangerous for us to have this information open. Because again, the competitors and other traders might trade off this. If they know that we have open trade and market goes this way or that way, they can uh, uh, back engineer of what we do. Maybe not exactly, but still they can use this information. And you heard this big story of GameStop, right? That uh, the, the certain information gives other players information of what they can do based on this. So again, while we're small, we might show you and uh, we will probably plan next week to show some of the information from our back office of our uh, positions and numbers. But in long term, it's again, it's very dangerous for us as a, a testing account to show this information to the public. So uh, we will do the, 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 the short pieces of it and we will show the, the uh, parts of it, but not the full one. Uh, yes, absolutely, absolutely. The next question is not actually a question, but they, they, you know, they remind that uh, uh, it's important for the field for all the members to anticipate that there are going to be losses, right? Because we started the way we started. Now we see some amazing results, right, in the system. So maybe you can elaborate on this. I mean, I know we we keep talking about this all the time, right? So so whatever we see right now, if you see some pluses, some 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 amazing results right now, it doesn't mean that next month or next couple of months or next week uh, it's going to be positive, right? Because I mean, yeah. we are. In, yeah, in, in, you know, like traders, they have uh, uh, inside jokes of saying that you know you never should uh, tap yourself on the shoulder and say you're an amazing trader because otherwise uh, the market will show you how stupid you are. So uh, this is the same. We are not yet in uh, the daisy shoes where we have additional information from all the markets and we have additional information about that will increase our probability. We still technical analysis folks that are doing it in smart way with uh, artificial intelligence. So we might experience losses. We might experience uh, uh, black swans and things like that. Uh, also, uh, what happens is that once we relaunch uh, Daisy Fund, what will happen is that uh, the new guys will not have the profits that the old team experienced. So they will start from zero. And then even that the whole fund will be considered profitable, right? It will be considered profitable from the percentage point of view. It might be losing from the money point of view, from the dollar point of view. So again, we need to be very calm about the result. Uh, and not to expect, basically not to expect anything and just just uh, uh, rely on the system. And uh, uh, next, specifically after the very good period, you might have two or three months of the choppy markets or the you know drop down market that doesn't know where what trend to take and so on. So again, there is no promises on our side. Yeah, sure, absolutely. And the last question. And this is a question, actually, this is a very nice question that uh, we hear uh, from few leaders, uh, because currently people cannot withdraw. They see some results, right? They, they want to withdraw their rewards, uh, but uh, they cannot do it uh, due to uh, our, let's say, maintenance uh, uh, currently uh, taking place, right? So, so they're not able to push the button to withdraw. So what they ask is, in the future, right, once we reopen, uh, 
will they be able to withdraw any time? Because they understand that uh, some of the funds actually are sitting in, 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 in open positions, right? So some of the funds, they might be already in closed positions. So uh, will they be able to withdraw at any time, wherever they want in the morning, nighttime, just, just log in and push the button withdraw, or there will be some specific period of time for them to withdraw? Uh, yeah, again, excellent question, because this is the kind of open question for us as well. Uh, what we have is uh, we have specific capital, quite a nice capital that is still lying in the buffer that you can withdraw from. So uh, even right now, we have more than five million in capital that you can withdraw from. But once we go to the bigger numbers and we go to the bigger profits, uh, of course, the, the capital that we store aside might be not enough to withdraw the full profits for all the contributors. So what we will do is we will announce uh, uh, the periods where you can withdraw freely, like you, you, there is, will be no issue. And then we will request, we will ask for the community to wait during the periods when we, we are in the trends, because we don't want uh, community to affect our trading. We don't want to be uh, forced to stop the trades or to exit earlier just because uh, we need to withdraw profits. Like we don't want your decision on whether you think it's enough for you. So what we will do is we will again announce the fully uh, green light withdrawal period, and then it will be yellow light where you can withdraw. But if we say that we don't have enough capital, we will ask you to wait, and then we will you know carefully see where there is available capital still, and then we will rebalance. So it might be day or two or three waiting period during this yellow period and then it will be reopened again. Awesome, awesome. I like this idea of green and yellow. Yeah. Hopefully <laughs> so, we will yes, not uh, get to red ones ever. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much. I think this is it for, for, for the major questions on the product mm -hmm. side uh, that people ask. So I believe you clarified uh, many issues. And uh, now most of the people they understand how the trading is working, right? So, so next week, uh, if you can show us a little bit more uh, of uh, some insights right uh, on the trading yeah, and specifically side. i would like to uh, uh to take on ourselves to start with daisy we will uh, show you some daisy uh, stories we will show you a white yes. paper next week we will start uh show you the daisy itself because this is the most exciting uh reason why we are together the daisy story so, absolutely yeah so next week we will maybe even do some short ex uh, um, short uh uh, parts of the white paper where we'll start explaining it, start explaining what we're doing, and that will be again exciting. Absolutely, yes. And I want everybody just to keep the uh, eye uh, on uh, on a Telegram channel, because we're going to make announcement very, very soon that the white paper is finally released. And this is going to be very big news for all the community, not only Daisy community, but also AI community, I would say, right? Because many people, they look, look looking forward, actually, to, to reading this uh, masterpiece. Yes, <laughs> okay. <hopefully. laughs> yeah. yes. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much, Doctana. Thank you for your time. Uh, so uh, I know- Thanks, Solomon. Again, Good luck. Yes, yes. I know you're very busy, so you, you can leave now, and we will just uh, jump into second part of the call. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Okay, guys. Okay. Yeah, I think it was very amazing part. So it's always such a privilege to see Dr. Anna right explaining about the product uh, to hear her uh, uh, wisdom, uh, words of wisdom uh, about the product side about the crypto market and uh, uh, because we are here because of Dr. Anna, right? The reason why we are here is because of Dr. Anna, right? Let's put it this way. And let's be honest. It's not because of smart contract. It's not because of the pay plan. It's because of the vision, which is development of AI technology, which is, of course, uh, uh, in, inspired and uh, pioneered and uh, led by Dr. Han. So it's, it's always very, very good to, 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 to have Dr. Han on the call. And now as we jump into the second part, so today we have two uh, great leaders from uh, different parts of the world. Uh, so we have... Uh, uh, Solomon James from uh, Lagos uh, from Nigeria, and we have Chris Arena from uh, Manila from the Philippines. Uh, so before we jump uh, into the second part, I just want to uh, to uh, say a few words also from from, from uh, let's say corporate side, right? About about uh, about Daisy. We know, guys, that we are having delays. Okay, it's not about we are not here to motivate everybody. 
and to say that you guys need to be focused, you need to be great leader uh, to to uh, follow uh, the vision of, of the project, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. We do understand that we are very very uh, big uh, way behind uh, the schedule, right? So we do understand this, uh, and uh, under these circumstances, uh, of course. As we also build, by the way, right? So myself, I build here, so I have huge network also here uh, as we started. So I do have a lot of issues with this. I do have a lot of feedback. So some people, they jump into uh, Daisy, uh, they wanted to build full time, right? Let's put it this way. We know this. Many great leaders, they joined because of the vision. They really made long term plans and they, they just couldn't work it, right? Because we, we, we shut down the, the system, right? So we needed to shut down the system, right? So so we do understand this. Some people, obviously, they, they just need to, to make some money to provide the families, right? So around the world. So this is why they, they, they cannot just sit back and wait week after week. So we do understand this. And again, we apologize for this huge delay. But again, I mean, we still have great, great leaders staying with us. And uh, of course, uh, Salomon and Chris are uh, two of them. Uh, and you're going to listen from them directly on today's call. Uh, uh, so many people, they, they of course, believe in DAISY. They believe it's just a temporary issue because, as we keep saying, there is no single chance to not reopen DAISY, right? So it's just a temporary technical uh, issue. It will be resolved very, very soon. Hopefully, next week, we will have much more you know, detailed uh, updates. We might uh, be able to provide some, uh, some uh, time frames on, on the date we launch uh some uh, some specific date right so launch date so let's just uh wait until next week and we'll have a lot of exciting news uh and updates from dr Anna as well uh, next week uh especially about the the white paper and the ai technology that she will be working together with great scientists uh on uh, so uh uh so the first gentleman i'd, I'd like to invite today is uh, mr salomon James from uh, Lagos, uh, from Nigeria. So Salomon is a great leader. Uh, he, he's been in this industry for 16 years, which is a very long time. Myself, I've been 12 years, so it's longer than me. And uh, Salomon uh, uh, been uh, doing this uh, business mostly online in multiple countries. So he's building big in Africa, not only in Nigeria. So he, we can say that he's very global. And uh, uh, he also knows exactly what's happening in the crypto space because we are guys not only in MLM space, but in crypto space in particular in Africa. And I believe it will be a very interesting piece of information for everybody about what's happening in crypto space in Africa, in particular in Nigeria. So Salomon, please take it over. Uh, and uh, whatever you want to share with us uh, rela in relation to Daisy, uh, please go ahead. All right, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are hearing me or listening in from. Thank you so very much, Ilya, for this um, great opportunity to be able to share um, and participate in this great um, project. Um, this is something that is um, very dear to our hearts because of the core value of transparency that we see, and much more so with what Dr. Anna is seriously pioneering. Listen, this is a pioneering work, and it's 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 great that we can envision to see the future. We've had um, other leaders come to talk about um, different things, Michael Foss, uh, Paul, and the rest of them, Eugene. All of this is to show to everyone that what we have in Daisy is going to be very phenomenal if we stay put and if we if we embrace the time which we are in to ride um, with the DAISY system. Well, I'm here in Nigeria, I'm here in Africa, and uh, we see things differently. There is a lot of things happening in our space and um, people are excited um, with what they see, but we also have our peculiar challenges. Um, so I want to address a little bit for people within the African space so that they know that the, global, the, the DAISY system is a global system even though we may have our own peculiar um, um, obstacles, but just as this is going through a revolutionary time um, to be able to adjust and reset things, we can take that spirit um, and pass it across to everybody that listen, if we stay true, we can win. So if you permit me, I'll just share uh, something. And um, just, just a minute, all right. Okay, can you see my slide, please? 
Yeah, we can see the slides. All right, thank you very much. Okay, good. Well, um, I, I think look, looking at what happened in Daisy within the first 24 hours or the first four days with a broken system and we had about 50,000 persons coming in into the system, it tells a whole lot of what is possible, of what the world is waiting for to experience. Now, when you come to understand that the world population um, is about 7.8 billion, because I did check this out yesterday, uh, it means we, we have not started. So the possibility of Daisy growing into a multi, multi billion dollar project is very, very visible. It's very, very um, up, up to tax that we can make that happen. But now, while we are looking at the, at the global space, for us in Africa, understand that Africa is the second largest continent in the world today, and um, is the second most populous continent with a, with a population of about 1.361 1, 1 billion people. I checked this out yesterday. This is a, a, a very big market, even for Daisy. So for people who are thinking of tapping into the African space, there's a lot of possibilities here. Now, in the African space, we see Nigeria as the giant of Africa, and that's, that's what it is. Nigeria is the giant of Africa with over 209 million people. Well, the number is great, but so is the problem. Because as at the June 2018 um, report, it shows that Nigeria has the largest extreme poverty rate, okay, overtaking India. That was in 2018. But why are we looking at this problem and looking at vis-a-vis -vis the numbers? Now, um, I also checked this out yesterday. This was from the um, um, Mundi Index that the economy that's population below poverty line, we find out that Africa is majorly below the poverty line. Now, in Nigeria, where I reside, 70%, um, 70% is into this. And this was a 2020 um, record result. Now, but you're looking at, oh, that means there's a problem. Well, what you must understand is that where the greatest challenge is, is also where the greatest opportunity lies. Because right now, there is a revolt for people to take back their life and take back control and do something meaningful with their life. So that is giving an opportunity for adoption. Now, according to the 2020 Global Crypto Adoption Index, cryptocurrency is a global phenomenon and cannot be stopped. And, and according to the index, yeah, 2020 is number eight in the world in, in, in adoption of a peculiar um, challenges in Africa, people are looking to the crypto space and they are beginning to adopt it. Now, you can see that list the world in Bitcoin searches in on Google. It means people are looking for alternative things to do. You can also see that Nigeria is Africa's biggest crypto market without fail. Today, we are having the Binance, Paxful, and a whole lot of the exchanges coming into the African market because they see an imagined, an imagined market of people who are revolting against the traditional way of earning, and they want to make a difference with their life. Now, why is this important? Because, yes, just like I did mention, there are obstacles. Just as um, Daisy is trying to remodel and we do it a 2.0, a lot of persons are a little bit uh, uncomfortable, perhaps with the delay, with the obstacle, with the website not functioning well. We understand that. But you see, for us in Africa, we understand it better. Just six, seven days ago, we woke up with the Central Bank of Nigeria putting a ban on crypto trading. Um, in the last few days, bank accounts of people have been shut down. It's an obstacle. People want to better their life. But you see, this is the government even stopping us, not the Daisy Project stopping us. We want to participate in the crypto space. This is the African experience. Do you think we cry? Do you think we mourn? Do, we, do you think we say it's all over? Hell no. The African spirit says we can rise and make a way out of this. Now, this was this was a report from Coindex yesterday that the Bitcoin cannot be stopped. Nigerian took a uh, look to peer-to-peer -peer exchanges after the ban. And you can see that Nigeria dwarf African in, in Bitcoin peer-to-peer, -peer, even with the ban. As a matter of fact, the peer-to-peer -peer, um, exchanges 
or interaction move to over 15 percent in just a couple a, about 48 hours is to say when you have a willpower nothing can stop you that the system is delayed does not mean we must give up look i mean these are people that for those of us in perhaps in the us america and other um advanced client any little thing you want we don't whine in africa we look forward to the uh, to the positive side and we ask ourselves what can we do so when they say they want to stop look at what happened the market is exploding africa right now is exploding nigeria is exploding that is because we have a never giving up spirit so i want to say to everyone on this call don't give up for those who have people in africa there are a lot of ways like i said there's a lot of peer-to-peer uh, -peer right now exchanges Paxful is very useful. Remitano is very useful. Um, local Bitcoin is very useful right now to get in your crypto and participate in a DAISY project or even your um, your what, what are, the, the people you are trying to reach out to. There are ways around it. So in case you have people in Africa who are saying there are restrictions, we can't go forward. No, there is no restriction. There are ways out of this, and we're already doing that. That's to say, with Daisy, nothing can stop us. And what's the interesting thing about Daisy that I see is the fact that Daisy is simply right now for us in Africa, the democratization of wealth. You see somebody like Eugene there, um, who spoke the other day, if he puts a hundred dollar and I put a hundred dollar here in Africa, we get the same result. If he puts, if he gets to tier 10 and I get to tier 10, we get the same result. So irrespective of tribe, race or religion, Daisy has come to democratize the wealth of the nation. And it's so exciting that despite the drop down that we've had, we have seen the system, just like Dr. Anna just um, highlighted, trading. The results are amazing. People are excited. I do know that some of us trade, but do you know that the emotions, the up and down of your trading is taken away from you, handled by Endotech? Now, this is great, guys. So for us in Africa, we are using this period of, of waiting for um, to go live to rejig our system, get our people to see that even without bringing people in to join us, Daisy is creating an amazing result. What does that say? Two lessons I learned um, when Daisy went live within 48 hours um, was that, number one, urgency is everything. That Daisy is easier to build fast than it is to build slow. A lot of us waited, we wanted to see all the results before we began to shoot. However, we saw leaders, uh, we, see the, we saw the Vitalis, we saw uh, Michael Force, we saw a lot of leaders who took the bull by the horn, building even before it was launched. And when they share their results, you are, oh, they are lucky. No, they are not lucky. They decided to build. We can build this fast. Let's not build this slow. 2.0 is about to go live in a couple of days, in a couple of weeks. But listen, we must have a shift in our mindset that once it goes live, it is possible to drive 10 levels even in seven days. Look at what happened in 24 hours. We can do this if we set our minds to it. Now, I do know that some persons are looking at, um, yes, people might come in, where will I get spillovers from? Because that's one thing that we've seen people uh, probably looking forward to. Well, let me say this, uh, be a lifter, not a leaner. If you're on this call and you are part of the DAISY project, leaners are those waiting for spillovers. Where will I get spillovers? When will spillovers come to me? You are leaning. Leaders create spillovers. So the time that we have taken to wait is an opportunity for us to line up our team, inspire our team, show them ways to go around in case there are obstacles or limitations so that when 2.0 goes live, the first 24 wow. hours will be the greatest 24 hours of our life. This is our African experience. And I want to say thank you very much, Ilya, for this opportunity. God bless you. We love you all the way from Nigeria, Africa, to the rest of the world. God bless you. Thank you, Salamon, so much. Thank you. I, I love it so much, really, what, what, you, what you just said. Uh, this was democratization of wealth. I think it's very important because, seriously, what uh, Dr. Anand and Tendatek is, uh, are doing, right, they, they take an institutional approach together with Daisy, what we we all doing together, right? So we just apply to little guys just like everybody right or on the call it can be somebody who buys just tier one 
or maybe tier two, tier three, everybody gets the same results. Like you mentioned, it's very important. It's part of the message. And I'm also very, I'm very sorry to hear about the bans happening in Nigeria. So I know some governments, you know, it's very sad to hear that the governments try to, you know, put some bans on the crypto movements. And I know there are always some ways around. So I'm happy to hear that you can use local Bitcoins, Remitano and some other services. So, uh, so you will always find a way to buy uh, TRX Tron in Nigeria. So I, I don't think it's going to be a big issue still because it's on the internet. Mm -hmm. So as long as uh, they don't take internet from us, it will be available, right? So <laughs> yeah. yes, so we'll find the ways around. Yes. Thank you very much, Salomon. I think it was one of the most amazing, actually, uh, uh, amazing talks uh, on, uh, on on our calls, leadership calls. And I think it was uh, very interesting for many people to listen about what's happening in Africa. And uh, from now on, I would like to invite our second guest today, uh, Chris Arena. So he's a uh, uh, he is originally Filipino, but raised in Australia and then moved back to the Philippines. Uh, and uh, currently he lives uh, in Manila. Uh, so he've been, uh, he's been in this industry more than 20 years. So he is a big, big veteran in the industry, working full time online, uh, doing many uh, amazing things online. So uh, knowing this industry very, very well, all the companies, all the projects, so all, the, all the trends uh, in the space, right? And uh, he's been a great uh, lead and great trainer. Also, he, he teaches people how to set up uh, wallets and crypto, especially in crypto space, right, Chris? So you've been doing this for quite a long time, right? So you 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 joined this movement, crypto movement, uh, a few years ago. It's, you're not a newbie here, which is very good to know. Uh, so, uh, Chris, I know you also prepared some some valuable piece of uh, information uh, for everybody uh, in relation to this. So please stay, take over from here. Uh, and uh, we are very happy to have you as a guest. Thank you. Uh, and I'm very happy to be here as a guest speaker as well. When I woke up to begin my week on Monday morning, uh, I did not uh, imagine that I'll be here enjoying this honor and privilege to be on this call today. And uh, I do need to, uh, again, just applaud Mr. Solomon James on that particular presentation. I can hope I can uh, uh, keep up with the energy and the passion that he has. And we really also want to just take into account the fact that you know, you know, depending on where you are in the world right now, where you're watching this from, whether you're watching this live, and I just want to congratulate every single one of you who have stayed on to the call for this long. And if you are watching the replay, I also want to congratulate you for staying on to be on for this long uh, and to hear hopefully some, uh, some nuggets and some gems and essentially some secrets that I want to give away about how I've been able to accomplish what I've been able to accomplish over the years to give away my full-time job back in 2012, to come work full-time from home, to be around my lovely wife of 23 years, uh, my three sons, and basically make money anywhere in the world as long as I've got a device and an internet connection. So congratulations to all of you leaders. You are all leaders. Please understand that right now. The fact that you're still on this call right now, and if you're watching the replay, you're all leaders. Whether you have one person or zero people coming so far on board with you, to be part of this opportunity, to be part of this project with Daisy, you're all leaders because you're here now to continue to build your knowledge, to build your uh, awareness of what we have here. And, you know, I really want to, again, just uh, uh, say a few words on the other leaders that were on the call earlier this week. Um, I don't know about you guys, if you haven't heard the call yet, please go back and watch the calls that were, uh, you know, conducted this week. Some words uh, from Mr. Avanesh from the UK. Uh, I have a newfound respect for what he obviously had to share that particular day. And no doubt many of you appreciate the story he told about what appeared to be a bad father on the train with some very unruly children and how really at the end of the day that story was about uh, making sure that we adjust our mindset and we have the uh, right perspective of the situation that we're in right now. And as Mr. Solon Solomon James has covered, as Eugene covered as well on Wednesday, you know, we are right now in a phase, no different, okay? No different to the phase that we were all in before the 4th of January. But guess what? We have so much more to our advantage right now because before the 4th of January, when we first attempted, which we did launch, right? Obviously, it was obviously uh, presented with some challenges, which is why we're still contending with them right now. But before the 4th of January, we were going out there with excitement. We were there talking to people about this potential with this project called Daisy and this company called Endotech and all the amazing results that Endotech's already achieving for their existing client base. And now we take a look at the situation. Yes, 
we are in a bit of a holding pattern. Yes, we're still waiting to relaunch, but guess what? The story back on the 4th of January was, I don't know. It looks amazing. It could be great. And let's just see what uh, could become of this. Uh, have you, you got at least $100 to come participate in this as a bare minimum. And obviously, now that we're past the 4th of January, now weeks after, we all know the story of how we broke records, ladies and gentlemen. We broke records. This has never been done before. In my 22 years in the network marketing space, I've never seen that many people turn over six figures in two days, six-figure incomes in just two days. Go and speak to any network marketer that's been around in the industry for as long as I have, if not longer. They will tell you. Unheard of. What we did was never done before and will never be done again or then again probably shouldn't say never because anything's possible but we broke records is the point and now our story when we talk to new people is very simple we launched on the 4th of january we had over 50 million uh, sorry fifty thousand people come on board you know we raised 30 million dollars that's in the live trading right now we broke our own website in the first week and so we are now at a point now where we can take a look at those people who made those six figure incomes in the first few days and we can tell people this is real the potential is there do you want to come and part, be part of this so what i wanted to cover today is really as i mentioned six points so if you want to take some notes i don't have any slideshows to uh, uh to present like um mr solomon james did just a moment ago but basically in terms of the things that i believe we can do uh moving forward especially if we feel we've maybe exhausted our existing network of people. And look, I just want to share a story. When I first, and many of you who have been in network marketing for as long as I have, before we had fast internet, before we had social media, before we had, um, you know, uh, just all the, the different platforms and tools that we have to help make our life easier. If we wanted to go out there and find new potential business partners to come and join our multi-level marketing business back 20 years ago, we had to go sit in a cafe. We had to go approach and probably try and start a bit of a chit chat with someone on a train platform, you know, at the train station or at the bus stop or at the park benches, you know, and just talk to random strangers and, you know, Good luck trying to do that today because most people are probably sitting at train stations with earpieces in their ear and they probably don't want to speak to you anyway, right? But we have so much more to our advantage and I don't want to sort of brag or boast, but I've often said to some of the people that I speak with directly that I feel in terms of the 21st century and the, 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 the phase, or should I say the, uh, the momentous times that we live in um, and all the technical uh, technology that we have to use to our advantage, life has become so much easier. And I wanna make a point today of six points, as I mentioned, and how you could potentially go out there and start engaging new people if you feel that your people that you've dealt with in the past, or maybe you're still maybe perhaps not particularly feeling confident to go back to your previous individuals because maybe you've been involved in things that haven't quite worked out for the best. And I get that. I've had that experience myself. So that's why I've always uh, appreciated the value of getting out there and meeting new people, connecting with new people. And how do we do that in the biggest social media uh, environment and, you know, the king of social media, Facebook. I've used Facebook and I know there are other social networks out there as well that are starting to pop up and really show some good uh, potential but Facebook for me and if you want to take some notes the first point obviously is that if you obviously appreciate the beautiful thing about being your own boss being an entrepreneur and being able to build uh, a team of people that you can work with and uh, I remember once upon a time one of my mentors called it you want to select your generals or your board of directors okay so no one's expecting you to go out there and recruit 50 or 100 or 1,000 people yourself. I mean, if you want to do that, no one's stopping you. But ultimately, it's quality over quantity. And when you think of a board of directors, again, there's only so many seats at the table. And if you can choose, in our case, what we're all being encouraged to do is so that we can hit the pace set of ranks, we want to look for 24 people, okay? That's all, 24 people that we can say, hey, we've got something you want to take a look at it. It's only $100 to get started. And I know a lot of you are probably thinking, yes, but it's going to take too long, but we are in this for the long haul. Don't look at this as a sprint. Look at this as a marathon because we have something that's going to be around for a long time. And, you know, the, the point here as well is that you've got to make sure that you fall in love with what we have 
uh, with what we have here as a project so that energy and that passion can carry over into the conversations with these people that yes they don't know you you don't know them but you're going to find these people and I personally have made a move because I know there are a lot of people in the crypto space that I can go and speak to, but the unfortunate situation is some of them, yes, have been involved in things that are probably uh, not things that they wanted to be involved with after everything sort of work, didn't work out as planned. And so I've made a decision and I've started conditioning and training and coaching my team that we're going to go after people who are outside of the crypto space, you know, that are in network marketing, that are business minded individuals, but they obviously are still very green. All right, we can guide them, we can show them, we can teach them, we can build their trust if we can show them how they can participate in this industry that is crypto. Okay, so, you know, just to give you an example, um, uh, there are uh, uh, people that were involved in a health and wellness company. I won't mention any names, but apparently this health and wellness company recently, these guys have been around for over 30 years. Okay, they're like the, the, the they're like Amway, I will mention one company. And if you want to speak to Amway people, that's up to you. But Amway is the granddaddy of network marketing, network marketing companies, as far as I can recall of my experience, my life experience. But the grandmother of network marketing, I won't mention the name, for those of you who don't know, if you'd like to know, feel free to message me. I'll be happy to share that information with you. But basically, they went through a whole lot of issues uh, and the Federal Trade Commission ended up having a whole bunch of money, uh, you know, that the, the company had to pay back to a bunch of members. And my point here is that there's a bunch of people in the millions that were involved with this company that are now looking or possibly open to considering something different, something new. And they're hearing all these things about the, the crypto space. So you can go to Facebook and you can search for these particular companies and you can look for their Facebook pages. You can look for their Facebook groups. You can maybe start to send some friend requests to some of these individuals and start engaging them initially in just some rapport building discussions and conversations. You know, you wouldn't just go in and send a friend request to someone, they accept your friend request and then you start telling them about Daisy straight away. You know, you wanna be asking leading open-ended questions. So that's point number two. So point number one, is we're searching for these new connections from other non-crypto based opportunities. And that point number two is we're gonna start asking them questions when they accept our friend request. And I know a lot of you as well, probably like me, get friend requests from people. So feel free to again, accept those uh, those requests from time to time. And then just you know go through that process and find out where they're at in the crypto space. A good question you, are, you can ask them to sort of gauge their level of awareness and interest in the world of cryptocurrency might be something like, do you know who Elon Musk is and Tesla and what they recently did and why? No doubt many of you already appreciate what happened this week with Tesla and how there was a $1.5 billion Bitcoin purchase made by Tesla. And there are people out there that aren't going to necessarily appreciate what that means to us in the crypto space. You know, we know what it means, but there are people who have no experience to crypto, have no idea, and we can be the ones to show them and help them understand that there is an opportunity here. And the beautiful thing about crypto that I've loved about crypto because I've been in network marketing where our products for many, many years is that our product is money. It's digital currency and everybody needs money. Everybody needs what we have as digital currency because, you know, with other product based companies, I don't want to sort of uh, uh, put a dampener on any of those opportunities because a lot of them are very good, but they're still only for a limited market of people, right? But our market is almost anybody and everybody that appreciates that they need money in their life, right? And so that's the point that you want to uh, ask those open-ended leading questions so that you can start to gauge their level of uh, awareness and interest for the crypto space and then see where it goes from there. Then obviously, once you've gotten them to really uh, you know, see the, that there's some value in getting started, of course, step three, if you're taking notes, is you want to basically help them open up their first crypto wallet show them how to make their first purchase of crypto. So that way, you know, again, they can see firsthand that you're not trying to necessarily, uh, you know, invite them into some sort of opportunity like we have right now with Daisy. I mean, that's obviously going to be later on down this, you know, down the, the path and discussion that you're going to have with them once you've gotten them, you know, set up initially with their first purchase of crypto and their crypto wallet set up for the first time. And of course, you know, you want to invite them to buy a little bit of Bitcoin, a little bit of Ethereum, and of course, a little bit of Tron, you know, we already know where that's going, right? And so once we've got them, you know, appreciative of that fact, and, you know, again, you know, something that I've been telling my people this week about why they want to buy something like Tron is 
Bitcoin is, you know, almost at 50,000 US. I mean, I haven't checked in the last few minutes, but, you know, it's at 40 something thousand US to buy one Bitcoin. Obviously, Tron right now is at like four cents, you know, so that's going to appear to the common person who doesn't know about crypto to be a far better deal than Bitcoin. And if we can get them to buy that $100, $200 worth of Tron, I mean, we're, we're effectively telling them the story of what it would have been like had they bought or had any of us bought a hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin when it was two cents back in 2010? Do you know how much that would be worth right now? That's $225 million. If we bought just a hundred dollars worth of Bitcoin 10, 11 years ago. All right. So we're telling these people to buy a hundred dollars worth of Tron. And then that way they can, they can see uh, the benefits there. They're going to go through that firsthand experience. And then the next point, point number four, we want to show them how to monitor the prices and teach them, you know, how to, you know, buy, obviously, when we're seeing a dip in the market. And then obviously, when the market goes up and, and the, the value of the coins that they're holding goes up, we want to teach them how to sell so they can obviously take some profits. And obviously, we're not necessarily selling per se, we're swapping it for USDT, a stable coin, so that we can hold that profit, that value. Um, and, you know, I've got people that are brand new to crypto here in the Philippines that bought $100 worth of Tron that weren't able to join because of the issues that we had. And then they're, they're messaging me saying, how come my $100 worth of Tron is now almost up to $150 worth of Tron? And I told you, I told you what would happen. And so they're getting excited and they're starting to, to tell their family, their friends, you know, their contacts about how they can get started in the crypto space. So this is very easy to duplicate. And that's point number six. All right. Once you've taken everyone through those first five points, you want to teach your new people that have come on board with you to join initially in crypto to duplicate that same process with the people that they know so that they can build their team. This is how we build our empire, ladies and gentlemen. This is how we build their trust. This is how we get them to like us. What, you know, because once upon a time, they didn't even know who we were until we obviously showed them the way to take them by the hand and show them how to get started in the world of crypto. And then once we have that trust, we have that rapport, uh, you know, they now, that they now like us, they trust us, then we are in so much more of a position of influence to now say to them, I have something that you might want to take a look at uh, uh, that, you know, is going to blow the roof off everything in 2021. Let me share some information with you about Daisy. So, ladies and gentlemen, I really appreciate you taking on uh, some of these things. As I said, these are the things that I personally have done and am continuing to do. And again, I know a lot of you have had some previous experiences that didn't necessarily work out uh, for the best, but I invite all of you to just leave the past where it belongs in the past. Let's start with a clean slate. Let's get to work because all of us, whether we're in the same team or in cross-line teams, it doesn't matter when we've all hit VIP status, right? And we're all now benefiting from everybody's work. So this is why I'm sharing all this information with you guys because I know that um, you know it's gonna benefit all of us in the long run. So look, one last final thing I just want to say again uh, before I wrap up, um, if you haven't, paid attention if you haven't noticed. Um, I've been involved in a number of crypto deals now uh, over the time that I first got started in crypto in 2016. Uh, 2016. And um, what can I say? Uh, I have seen some leaders get involved in certain projects. They make a lot of money and then they walk off, they disappear, they go on to the new thing. Take a look at the leadership here in Daisy who have made a lot of money already so far. We're still here, okay? We still want all of you to be successful, to win with this project. And if you go and apply yourself to some of the points that, or all the points that I've just covered with you all today, uh, play back this video if you need to hear them again, uh, we're gonna we're gonna kill it. So Ilya, uh, Dr. Anna Becker, thank you as well for all of your efforts in the team of Endotech. And again, Mr. Solomon James, uh, I hope I was able to uh, do some honor there to follow up on your presentation and uh, looking forward to us relaunching this very, very soon. Thank you. Thank you, Chris, thank you. I think it's very important actually, Daisy is on a mission to bring as many people as possible into crypto space. So what you just shared is very important, right? So because Salomon mentioned how many people live on our planet, right? So it's more than, it's like roughly 8 billion or something, right? So, and uh, how many people they actually have crypto wallets? It's tens of millions. We're not even talking hundreds of millions yet. So in the upcoming few years, we expect hundreds of millions, if not to say billions of people actually to set up crypto wallets, to start to send digital, money directly without interaction through some banking system 
without any permission or whatsoever, right? So just send it directly to whoever they want to send it to, right? So this is a very beautiful thing, actually. And we are in this digital space and we are uh, on a smart contract space as well. So we are one of pioneer, pioneers, right? And we have Doctana with amazing uh, project in uh, in uh, AI space. So, so we have so many components, actually, that we, we put, put them all together. And uh, I believe... Uh, it, it, it's very attractive, right? For networker, it's attractive. It's attractive just for average uh, person. Uh, uh, whenever you are in the world, right? So you can be in Africa, you can be in Asia, in Europe, doesn't matter, right? Because it, it is international, it is global. And uh, like you, Chris, said, uh, I mean, it. it's very simple, actually, to, to start talking to people, to, to attract them, to, you know, to bring them into crypto space. And you're absolutely right. You don't need to jump on people, you know, trying to sell them daisy opportunity, right? So you just establish a relationship. You show them the way they can set up Bitcoin wallet, uh, which is very, very easy. It's just two, three steps. It can be done like in a couple of minutes or something, right? So you make them send their Bitcoins to somebody else or you send your Satoshi to them, right? So they can get few Satoshi. They see that the money is coming like almost instant, instantly, right? It's very fast. You can play around with the Ethereum. And then, of course, you can end up with a TRX, right? Because eventually you want them to, 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 to join DAISY, right? So I think it's interesting, actually, how you can attract and uh, bring people into crypto space, into DAISY. Thank you, Chris, very much. Thank you for sharing your experience as a veteran in this industry. So you've been in crypto space, like you said, five years. Uh, just like myself, uh, five, six years I've been in this crypto space, so we've seen many things happening. And as you say, uh, let's, uh, whatever, if if you had bad experience in the past, let it stay in the past. We are moving forward in, into the future, so we just got started with uh, 2021. And by the way, I want to uh, congratulate everybody uh, because we are actually having Chinese New Year right now. So uh, we have very big community in, in, in China, in Vietnam, even in Thailand uh, today. I mean, th th Thailand in Thailand, uh, New Year is in April, right? It's different. But we have big, big Chinese community in Thailand, in this country. So today, many people, they take the days off. So this is one of the reasons, actually, I'm wearing now red shirt. So my wife, you know, she gave me red shirt today. She said, today is today is a New Year, Chinese New Year. So you should wear something red. So you see, you see, in this part of the world, it's very, very big. So. Uh, happy New Year for all our DAISY uh, community in Asia. Uh, and let's uh, uh, hope that this year uh, will be phenomenal for everybody uh, in terms of uh, financial results, uh, in terms of uh, COVID situation also. So we hope it will finish within this year, right? We'll be able to travel. And uh, hopefully in the nearest future, we'll have some updates about some online or offline events events that we we plan to put together for for our community right so so thank you very much and uh, 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 over the weekend we will publish a schedule for the next week uh, leadership calls so we'll have uh, another maybe two or three calls uh, so we'll plan some calls with some special guests as usual and uh, have a nice day uh, or evening depending on where you are in the world thank you very much bye bye